Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera The Room with an Attic YouTuber Bro Addis has had many creepy experiences inside his family's house for a very long time and in one particular bedroom there is an attic right in the corner against the ceiling that has a very long and disturbing history although nobody has dared to venture inside it for years Brandon has gotten used to just avoiding the room completely along with any minor activity that may occur around the house since it has already been blessed once before but it seems that wasn't enough because late one evening when Brandon is watching TV around midnight along with his dog Booker the dog then senses something and starts to behave rather strangely he then decides to record as he watches his dog and it doesn't end very well Booker no and Booker just keeps on staring in my mom's room that room is literally the most haunted especially the attic in that room and Booker just Booker what do you see bro Booker no stop look and this is right before we're about to leave. Like, I'm getting ready to leave this house right now because it's getting late and I don't want to... Booker, no, no. Come here, Booker, we gotta go. Yo, guys, this is so weird. Bosley used to do this. Look, he's backing up like he sees something. No, we gotta go. Stop. Yo, guys, can I just say? Booker, yo, he keeps going closer to the room. Booker, no, don't go there. He's literally... Like, he's super calm and he's walking all slow. And then he backs up and he sits. It's like somebody in there is telling him to sit. It's like he's cocking back. Like, he sees something and he's getting ready. Bro, <laughs> see? Booker, stop. <laughs> Yo, this is, I'm getting the chills right now. Like, this is the worst vibes I've ever felt in this house in my life. Guys, oh my, look, he keeps going back there. I'm telling you guys, I have the worst vibes. Like, all the hair in my body is just standing up. I'm trying to get out of here, but Booker is not leaving. Like, I'm trying to call Booker, and he usually listens to me, and he won't listen right now. I don't know. It's so weird. Booker, come here. See, he doesn't even look at me. Usually when I call his name, it's like this. He comes right away. Booker! But I swear to you guys, it, it feels like I'm not the only one in this house. And, and I'm not talking about me and Booker. Like, my whole, like, it, my head feels weird. My body feels weird. I'm sweating. All the hairs on my neck are standing up. I... Booker, stop that! It literally looks like someone is telling him what to do. Like, someone's telling him, go back sit like it's crazy it's crazy right now booker we gotta leave no come here we gotta leave booker yo he's, he's like, look he's like flexing his body like there's someone there like he's about to he's about to attack booker no let's go and of course it's my mom's room of course of course booker no come here it's like he saw something and then the thing disappeared that's why, that's why he's going crazy the dog normally listens to any mention of his name but for some reason has become unresponsive to it. After barking at the room for a while, it seems that he caught the attention of something. Booker, come on, let's go. B Yo, Booker. Uh, there's no way. I know you guys just heard that. Booker, we are leaving right now. Come. What? Booker, come here. Yo, what the f Booker, come here right now, please, bro. Let's go. Booker. Hurry up. Let's go. No, Booker, come on. Let's go. Come here. Come here. 
Come on, yeah, let's go. No, this way, out the garage. <laughs> guys, what the f Yo, guys, what the fuck? We are, hold on, Booker. We are, oh shit, my car is not unlocked. Booker, guys, hold on, Booker. What the fuck was that? Booker, I'm sorry. Come here, come here. Come on, come in. Booker, guys. We are out. Something draws the dog's attention to the dark bedroom and then startles it. A bang can then be heard coming from within the room and that's when Brandon decides it's time to leave the place. Another sudden loud bang can be heard as they are making their way out of the place. Brandon has not stayed at this place anywhere near nighttime ever since this day and he wants to get the house blessed once again specifically the attic within that room which he believes is what lured the dog over so did we witness a real haunting or is it just a simple ruse you judge if you have any video recommendations you can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com the hardware store the next video comes from the TikTok user Raul. When he was 18 or 19, he always had a strange interest in mysterious things. And after his friend mentioned some satanic books, it caught his interest. And that's when he truly decided to dabble with the unknown. Not truly knowing or understanding what he was getting himself into. He eventually started experiencing paranormal occurrences and strange things that would happen at home. And he says that just as this happened, strangely enough, people have also unexpectedly tried to introduce him to God, as if both sides were at a war for his soul. Just recently he has begun to experience some activity while at his hardware store. And after recording, this is what he captured. Actividad paranormal en ya me iba a grabar ya, güey. Porque mira. Pero, pero es que mira, o se ca cayeron esas madres, ¿eh? Y luego, te empezaba de todos lados, güey. De, de todos lados empezó a caer este pedo. De todos lados, güey. ¿Sí te fijas? ¿Qué de es eso? De todos lados empezó a caer este desmadre. No sé qué chingo está pasando, pero... Yo no sé ni qué pedo, güey. Mayer esa cosa hasta que no sé ribáis el video. Hacer. Porque mira. Ya no, ya no sé qué, qué hacer, si, si mandes ahora sí el padre o a, o a, ver, o a ver qué pasa, o a ver qué pasa. Padre. Hice una pausa porque no, me entró una llamada cuando el Eresol se cae. Ay, maldita sea. Escoba se mueve. ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Mm? Uy. ¿Qué, vas a barrer o qué chingados, fantasma? ¿Eh? ¿Qué vas a hacer, cabrón? Dime. ¿Qué chingo vas a hacer? Vete a la verga. Vete a la verga. A ti ya quería Ay, salir qué, corriendo, qué, pero me aguanto. Hijo de puta madre. Me cayó pinche celular, vale verga. No se madrió. ¿no? Me se abrió la pinche puerta del baño. lo que más me sacó de onda güey, porque no sé qué chingado se la puerta de pasando a ver qué qué mandas o qué vete a la verga no vete a la verga ya chingas tu madre puto fantasma de mierda vete a la verga güey the door to the bathroom opens by itself but when he goes to check there's nobody there and just moments after the fridge door opens by itself and on another day something similar would happen no este, ¿cómo se dice? No oye nada. Pero tengo así desde la mañana como que se escucha un pinche gruñido. Pero pues era un pinche gato que se metió o algo. Pero bueno, quedo pensando, lo mejor no es producto de mi esquizofrenia, dice lo cuando escuchando yo cosas que donde no las haya. Pero se me hizo raro este pedo. Quién sabe qué chingo sería, loco. No, pues quién sabe. 
chingo está raro este show que chingo sería Man. vete a la verga no no mames vete al chorizo wey. ya a lo mejor estaba mal acomodado este show a ver Pinche vato, quién sabe qué chingo. Vete a la verga, güey. No, vámonos al chorizo. <ríe> vámonos a la verga. <ríe> qué pedo. A few nights later, he would start hearing noises around the stall bathroom, which grew louder and louder until it sounded like someone or something was present inside the room. And eventually, he mustered the courage to take a look inside. Di, di lo que me estabas diciendo, di, di lo que me estabas diciendo. ¿Ayuda? Sí, yo, yo te ayudo, pero mira, necesito que me digas cómo te puedo ayudar. ¿sí? No te tengo miedo, mira, podemos arreglar esto tranquilamente. ¿sí? ¿La culpa? ¿La cul culpa? Cul ¿Culpa de quién? Cul ¿Culpa tuya? O ¿Culpa mía? ¿O, o qué, qué necesitas? Yo te, yo te puedo ayudar, te tengo un sacerdote. ¿No? ¿No? A ver, vamos a ver, cabrón. Ya, ya estuvo bueno. Llevas bastantes años, cabrón, persiguiéndome. Something can be heard making horrifying sounds coming from within the bathroom, but as soon as Raúl opens it, the sound stops, and we can see nothing out of the ordinary inside. Raúl says that he now regrets messing with satanic books and seeks to end whatever he has now attached to himself, real ghost or not. I'll let you judge. The unknown. The next video comes from the Twitter user, Eldar Glorfindel, who says that he was just on his way home with some friends from a city called Niteroi, located in southeast Brazil. While they were waiting for an Uber, a goat randomly appeared, just strolling the streets. Amused by this, he decided to record the goat to post on his social media accounts and viewers eventually saw something chilling that Eldar missed. Take a look. A very creepy and disturbing looking dark figure can be seen just standing by the bushes watching Eldar and his friends. Eldar was understandably freaked out upon noticing the figure in the footage and says that he saw nothing at the time he recorded this. It does look quite genuine, but seeing a random goat and a dark figure at the same time cannot be a good sign. Hopefully, nothing followed them back home. Another video coming from the Facebook user Jin Mama is also quite chilling. Not much is known about the footage, but the man in the video is staying in a secluded house, surrounded by the woods, when he hears something terrifying and decides to record. A very loud roaring sound can be heard throughout the woods, along with the sound of branches breaking apart not too far in the distance. Many viewers suggest this to be a Bigfoot sighting, but I'm curious to hear what you think it could be. What lurks in the closet? The next video comes from the YouTube channel Mary Therese Bagai. Mary is a nursing student from the Philippines who was at home one day with her little brother, recording a demonstration video for her YouTube channel in preparation for her final exam, when they captured something unexpected during the practice. There you go. Okay, now? now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verified the client's 
Oh, ito. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure and ask for his consent, verify the client's identity and provide... Ano ito? Sige pa na yun pa. Sige na, sige na, sige na, sige na. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Oh, no, 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 no. The light flashes for a brief moment, and then just off camera, the closet door slams shut on its own, startling Mary and her brother, and making them run out of the room completely. Mary then made a follow up video showcasing the closet in question, and that's when things get even more creepy. So this is where it all began and this is the cabinet and I'm actually very afraid to touch it or open it. I'm very sorry for the mess. So as you can see, this cabinet is full of clothes and no person can actually, oh my gosh, fit inside here. And this is where my brother stood and this is the light switch. So my brother was um, videotaping me. Oh, filming filming here. I was standing here and my brother was standing here and the lights actually started to flicker before the cabinet opened and Actually before that we were actually experiencing um weird things Oh my gosh, I'm very I'm sorry. I'm very scared But this is what it looks like inside Tabi tabi po. No person can actually fit inside here. It was actually me and my brother inside this room. And right now, I'm not sleeping inside this room. I'm sleeping in my parents' uh, room. Mary is now too afraid to sleep inside her own bedroom. And with good reason, too. Because if you didn't notice, a creepy voice can be heard while she was showcasing the closet. And actually before that we were actually experiencing um, weird things. She eventually decided to set up a home security camera inside her bedroom in order to see what evidence she may find. Late one night, just a little while after midnight, she captures something utterly terrifying. An electric fan inside the room turns on by itself and then some strange smoke rises up out of nowhere and an orb also appears just moments before the fan turns off again on its own and just mere minutes later she captures this And it's not just at night time too, a little earlier on in the day, and things were even worse. It's very faint and hard to notice, but as we enhance the footage, you can see as a shadow moves towards the closet and goes inside just shortly before it slams shut on its own. But the worst is yet to come. If you missed it, take a look again. A hand can be seen reaching out from the closet, as if whatever that shadow was manifested into a physical form within the closet. 
As we saw earlier, Mary's closet is quite small and very cluttered, so there isn't much space for a person to be hiding inside. The only link she has that could possibly explain these paranormal events is that one day when she was outside with her boyfriend, they witnessed a terrible accident and her boyfriend, who is a trained medical professional, went to aid the person in need, but it looks like it was too late and the man passed away, only for his spirit to follow Mary home. Could this be a real haunting caught on camera? I leave the final judgement to you. That's all for today guys, but if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. See you next time guys.